Hi everyone, Faith Howard Mooney, VP of Member Engagement from TMC. And today I have with me Amy Azarandia, who is the VP of Compliance from First Trust Bank. Thanks for doing this, Amy. Thanks for having me, Faith. I appreciate it. Not a problem. So Amy is relatively new to the network. I think you came on right before all of the chaos, the earlier part of the year. I think that's right. Campened and but has been very, very actively engaged um, in a lot of our sessions and everything. So I'm excited to get to learn more about you today. Um, so we'll just start out with, tell me a little bit about what your first job ever was. So this one's kind of funny and ironic, I guess. Um, my first job was in mortgage lending. No. <laughs> so let me back up a second. I was an extremely young teenager living in central Massachusetts. My mother was the comptroller of a, in a small bank. And um, I think I needed some direction. Okay. And so yeah. she worked with the leaders of the bank and they hired me as a consultant at the age of 13 to come into the lending department, separate from operations and from accounting. And basically I did a whole bunch of filing. Uh, that and uh, appraisals, back when appraisals were paper appraisals with Kodak pictures, oh, I would open them up for the underwriters and get them ready for review. <laughs> that was the extent of my job. But ironically enough, it was in lending. That is very funny. It's, um, there have been a couple of you recently that I've talked to that have started out in lending and still in lending. And I'm just amazed by that because I always think that, that we don't have a lot of that in, in our industry. I think it's relatively unusual that people land in it many different ways. Um, so share with me then, you know, after that, kind of where, where your career path traveled and how long you've been in the industry. So I was a very young teenager when that happened and it didn't last very long. And then I did the traditional teenage things of working in a grocery store and then restaurants and through college bars and whatnot. Um, and I tried to run away from banking and from lending as much as possible. <laughs> I went in the complete opposite direction for my undergrad. I graduated from University of the Arts in sculpture and uh, like many other great art school students, I was also bartending. Mm -hmm. And I had a regular customer that would come in at five o'clock. He was a top producer and he needed a loan officer assistant to help him. He took me under his wing and I took to mortgage lending like a duck in water. Wow. I never turned back. So from graduating college until now, 20 years later, I have been in mortgage lending. So your mom knew what she was doing. She knew. <laughs> she knew. They always do. <laughs> it's in your blood. I always say it's in your blood. Once you get in, you never leave. You just kind of move around a little bit. Um, tell me, um, you know, obviously you started young, but tell me kind of, you know, when um, you first really started what you considered your career, you knew that you were going to be in. What's the one thing that you wish you would have known? Um, back then? I think if I were giving an advice to a young person, it's not necessarily something that I wish I had known, um, but my advice would be stay open-minded, stay super curious. I think throughout my career, the reason why, where I, why I am where I am is because I've been able to touch a lot of different departments within mortgage. And that was because of my curiosity. I wanted to know more. How does that operate? I don't know what you do. What do you do? Tell me more about what you do. I wanna know it. I wanna understand it. I wanna learn it. Um, and just keeping that open-mindedness and realizing that you may not be great at something out of the gate, but just by doing it, you're better today than you were the day before. And if you keep on doing that, that those life experience just really start to add up. And before you know it, you are an expert in a particular field. Yeah, yeah that is, that's very cool. And I think great advice for all of the young people that we do to have coming in for sure. Um, you may have already kind of answered this, but if you weren't in mortgage banking, what would you want to be doing? So <laughs> I was that kid 
when I was young uh, that would open up the newspaper and I would redraw the uh, residential layout, architectural layout plans, I thought for sure I was heading to architecture, residential architecture. I was close. I was really close. <laughs> if I were to do it all over again, I guess it would be architecture. But oddly enough, when I went to art school, they had just discontinued architecture as a field. Uh, so I graduated with sculpture, but I guess uh, residential housing was always <laughs> there. <laughs> instilled in you early and still in you today right <laughs> it works. yeah so one last question here um kind of like random question um it but it's something that we've talked a lot about within our tmc little team um because of the environment that we've been in in the last year there are some um trends that kind of came out of our team and their food and watching tv for sure, those two things. So people cooking and people binging a little bit on both both TV or movies and food. So what's the latest TV show that you binged? So I really got into Outlander. <laughs> yeah. In fact, I'm like, oh boy, I think I need to get stars because <laughs> the new season of Outlander is now on stars. Um, but once I kind of barreled through Outlander, um, I've now been going back in time to Gilmore Girls. Oh, yeah, that's kind of a new thing again. Yeah, they have, I think, seven or eight seasons on Netflix, and I'm three seasons in. Laser focus. <laughs> Way too much TV. <laughs> oh, I think we all have this year. This year has been a, a year for kind of doing that and having each having some of our own little guilty pleasures. Um, where you could, and that's been one of the easy places to find some of them, I think. So thank you so much for doing this with me. It's just been awesome to be able to just chat with you for a few minutes, learn more about you personally um, and kind of what you're up to. Really appreciate you hopped in right from the very beginning. I mean, we're curious. Uh, <laughs> And we really do appreciate that about you. You've been a really strong contributor in our network already. And um, we're here to help you however. I really can. love the network. It's fantastic. Everything you guys are doing is wonderful. So, thank you. Well, we always love to hear that, but that's because we have such wonderful people involved with us. So we appreciate you and thank you for doing this with me. You got it. Thank you.